So in this video, I'll be talking about mitosis in animal cells. And so there are different stages. First we'll get, we'll summarize all of them. So there's prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And then some people consider cytokinesis a part of everything, but technically is not really a part of the cell cycle. So, first of all, let me clear this, and we'll talk about prophase first. So, prophase. Let's remember some things in prophase, some important facts. One, chromatin is condensed. So that's important. The nuclear envelope disintegrates. which means it essentially breaks apart so um, the chromosomes are exposed. The nucleolus disappears. And the centrosomes move away. Remember, we have two centrosomes in animal cells, so centrosomes move apart. And the spindles from the centrosomes begin to take place, um, begin to take shape, sorry. And so there are three types of spindles, fibrous spindles. There are kinetochores. There are polar fibers and asters. And so let's talk about that for a second. Oh, one thing I forgot. Prophase is the longest. And the next step is prometaphase. And so it's important to remember that the centromere of the chromosome, so imagine the chromosome is like this. The centromere is essentially the mid, And the centromere of each chromosome develops two kinetochores, so we'll use that in blue. And so essentially what the kinetochores are, are a protein kinetochores. They're a protein that allows microtubules to attach to them. Microtubules called um, kinetochore fibers. To attach to them. And a kinetochore, just to clarify a little more, is a protein that allows the kinetochore fibers to attach and that's really important when it comes to anaphase and pulling the chromatids apart. So next we have metaphase. Let me clear this. And so during metaphase the most important thing to remember is that the chromosomes are lined up on the metaphase plate.
And what that is, is essentially the center. So as you can see down here in this diagram, that's the metaphase plate. Essentially, they're all lining up right in the middle. And then here, what's also occurring is the polar fibers are aligning in the middle and essentially just pushing the cell apart. So they're pushing that way and making the cell elongate. So I'll just clear that. And so the key thing to take out of this is metaphase plate aligning in the middle. And this is actually the, uh, the stage at which some um, people can take pictures of the chromosome because they're all lined up perfectly. And now on to the next one called anaphase. And so anaphase is the shortest, shortest phase of mitosis. So what happens in this phase is we have the chromosome here. And then the centromere will be in red. Kinetic core is in blue and attached to spindles in green. And so what's going to happen is the centromere is going to dissolve to release the sister chromatids. Remember, one of those, each one of those is a sister chromatid. And so they get pulled apart and separate to here, down here, in the next step what essentially happens is one of them is here one of them is here still have the kinetic core attached to the spindle and so they're essentially separated and let's pretend the middle right here is a metaphase plate and so essentially this is a stage where the chromosomes are separated, the sister chromatids are separated. And so the kinetochores are pulling on the chromatids and motor proteins imagine them as like little creatures that essentially help walk the chromosomes to the other side, to their destination. And so it's important to remember here in this phase, down at the diagram, the cell is more elongated and more oval. And the polar spindles are pushing the cell further apart, the poles further apart to elongate the cell. And now the next phase is the last one, telophase. Let me clear this. And so what happens in telophase is that the spindle disappears. And the nuclear envelope reforms in each of the new cells, essentially. And um, the nucleolus appears. Reappears would probably be a better word chromosomes decondense so that the genetic information can be read and chromatin starts to the chromatin form of DNA starts to occur and a good way to remember it is that it essentially undoes what occurred in prophase. Let me clear that. And finally, cytokinesis. And what cytokinesis is, is division of cytoplasm. Some people mistakenly group this into the cell cycle. It's technically not a part of the cell cycle, but occurs in most cells. 
It often begins in late anaphase. And so what you can imagine, kind of like down here, what it's showing is, imagine a drawstring, like pulling on a drawstring of sweatpants or whatever. It essentially gets pulled tighter and tighter till these two cells just break in there and become two separate complete cells. And it's important that mitosis does not always have to be followed by cytokinesis. So cytokinesis does not always occur.